Your Highness, Princess Aya. Genma, what's wrong? I have a message from your father. You do? Yes, Your Highness. There's trouble in Fael, and he asks that you return immediately. What trouble? I cannot say for sure. I was here in Halgita as well, and have no further information. But reports suggest the involvement of vermiforms. He also asked that the Force come. My father wants Capel's help too? Yes. He wants help. Sounds like an emergency. <sighs> Worried about Fayel? Well... <sighs> then let's go back. But, but we're about to attack the Order's stronghold! We can't! Exactly. Once we begin, there's no turning back. So let's take care of everything else first, and leave no regrets. Please let His Majesty know that we shall make way. Understood, Your Highness. We should move too. Yeah. Aya? Somehow... Hmm? Somehow... You look... I look what? You look tougher. Just a little bit, you know? Just a little. Really? You do. Wow, I've been through a lot. What? Come on, everyone's waiting for us. Hmm. Small victory. 
history is something to cherish. We haven't met with the king here yet, because of everything that happened, right? Yeah, you're right. Go meet him. We can't return to Fael until a ship comes in anyway. Oh, yeah. We did have quite a few unnecessary problems come up. <laughs> Don't look at me like that! Just go and meet him. All right, I'm going. Wait, I'm coming too! Don't leave me! We welcome you to Colton. Thank you. We feel nothing but happiness on seeing your majesty well. You've got it down now. Really? Shh. And... What has brought you here to our kingdom? Your majesty, if it pleases you, let me tell you about our mission to liberate the moon from the chains which are binding it. We explained our mission. What we had done up to then, and what we wanted to do in the future. We discussed the moon, the chains, and the threat of the Dread Knight. We explained as much as we could in the time we were given. I have comprehended the intent of your message. Thank you, Your Majesty. Countries far and wide have pledged to assist you in your mission. That is not quite the situation. But I am cognizant that your highness is the princess of Fael, the daughter of the emir. Well... Um... We in Colton would like to extend our support as well. My men will accompany you. Your majesty. Silence. We give them credence. Thank you, your majesty. I'm Christopher. At your service. I am Serafina. I'm Sigmund. As the leader of the force, I welcome you. Sigmund, I will put my trust in you. Thank you. This meeting is adjourned. How did it go? They're trusting us to do this. The two behind you are here to help? Yeah, that's the deal. Christopher, good to meet you. I'm Edward. You know, you're acting very differently than before in the castle. <laughs> no, young lady. I haven't changed. But perhaps your heart has changed the way you look at me. You must be noticing my more charming side. He's like... We've got another odd one. I am Serafina. Oh, my darling Serafina. How could I have announced myself first when I should have given you that honor? Perhaps I made you jealous by speaking to another woman? I do not understand. You are logical. I understand you, Serafina. Everything you say is out of love for me. I am communicating with other people. You should remain silent. Capel, you handle this. Handle what? I'm out of here. Y Eugene! All right. See you later, Capel. 
Wait, everyone! That's unfair! Stay here! Look at that! Hmm? It's Lunar Rain! But... It's never happened here in Fael before. Not once. We must tell my father about the Lunaglyphs. And make sure that everyone understands the danger of Lunar Rain. Yes. Hey! Hey! 
My father? He is resting inside. Let us in. Your Majesty! Her Highness and Lord Sigmund are here. Show them in.
I bid you both welcome. Father. Genma's message must have brought you here, I presume. Yes. Then, I shall get right to the point. There have been reports of attacks by invisible monsters throughout the kingdom in recent days. We have discovered corpses that appear to have been ravaged by these monsters. Like humans, but with twisted arms and legs. You know of them? Yes. Ah, I was right to call upon you. I knew you would have some information about them. Vermiforms. Vermiforms? I have never heard of them. What are they? They are transformed Meigs. What? They were Meigs? What could possibly cause them to change into monsters? That would be the Lunar Rain. Father, please listen. We'll explain everything. I and I explained to the Emir what we had learned from Edward's transformation. That Lunar Rain increases the level of lunar power inside the body. We also explained that when that power exceeds a certain limit, it causes a hideous change. Vermification. Vermiforms are vicious beasts that attack those with the least amount of lunar power first. We told him how vermiforms, originally Meigs, could be turned back to normal by suppressing their power with special medicine. Then we warned him of the great danger posed by Lunaglyphs. This is difficult to believe. But it's the truth! <sighs> so our plan has backfired on us. What plan? We have been conducting rites for citizens to increase their Lunaglyph strength. So that they may battle these monsters on their own. What? The number of people with increased Lunaglyph strength is growing day by day. So, a massive outbreak may occur? Daughter, I shall trust you on this matter. I will dispatch Aristos with orders to stop the rites, and to spread the word about the dangers of Lunar Rain. Father... Thank you, Your Majesty. Then we shall go back to liberating the moon. I am grateful. I leave Saprin in your care as well. No, wait! Saprin is outside of our jurisdiction. We cannot send troops. Huh? It is home to the unblessed. We do not rule over them. Father! That's absurd. It is the law. In a time of emergency, it shouldn't matter if they're unblessed. Am I wrong? Are you suggesting the Emir break his own laws? Mind your place, young man. Forget them. Fine. Then I'll go and help. Capel, wait for me! Capel? This is bad. Beta! Leif! Capel, stop! You can't do this alone! What's wrong? Out of my way! Calm down. What's going on? Just calm down! There's been a massive vermiform outbreak! Because of this rain. Yes, Saprin is in grave danger. There are only unblessed there now, so... I understand. We must hurry. <sighs>
You hear something? What? A scream? Ah! It was! Hurry! What... What happened here? This is just horrible. Half a day must have passed. They were left defenseless? Until it came to this? And with no one to call for help? Snap out of it, Capel. We can't see them. You have to lead us! Damn! They may have been humans once. We have no choice but to fight them! Please! 
mistreat them! No! Someone, please treat them! Should you treat them? Don't try too hard. Hey, that's Edward! Did you treat them? Did you treat them? Yeah! Could you? Yeah. Someone, please treat them! I can't. Did you treat them? Did you treat them? Focus! Look after the end! Edward! Oh no! Someone, please treat them! Someone, please treat them! Did you treat them? Just forget it. Capel! There could be survivors. Split up. Search and protect them. We can't let any more people die. Vayna! Leif! Everyone, split up and protect the villagers. Bring any survivors back here. We must do everything we can. Don't. It's not gonna happen. Don't worry. I'll take you to my friends. They'll heal you. It'll be okay. No. I don't want to die. I've spent my life being rejected and despised everywhere. Then I finally met you, and at last, I could do some good. No. Don't say anything else! Veda? Veda! Leif... Your sister... has... finally found... someone... she... loves. Please 
Don't die on me! You can't! Don't die! Oh. <laughs> Wait, why? Why did this happen? Capel, it's time to go. Capel? I don't understand. If people with Lunaglyphs lived in this village, then they would have been protected by the government. They would have sent help, soldiers, healers. There would have been fewer deaths. That's... Faina and Leif, both of them would still be alive. I used to think, that if I had a Lunaglyph, I could have saved them all. No one would have had to die. But I was wrong. It's the other way around, isn't it? This happened because of Lunaglyphs. You saw those monsters? Those creatures? That's all the glyphs really are. I've wanted one since I was a child. For as long as I can remember, I would have given anything to have one. But it's because of the glyphs that... What are you talking about? Yeah. Maybe it would be better for everybody if all people with Lunaglyphs were to have died instead. Capel. It's a joke. Capel. I know that what happened to Faina and Leif was tragic, but we all have to... I know. Liberate the moon, right? We need to go. Everybody's waiting. Are you all right? Yes. Really? I said yes. Well, that's good. I spoke with all of the villagers. I explained to them that since they don't have lunaglyphs, they should be safe. Yeah. They'll be really safe. Hmm? 
We return to Fayal and report what happened here to the Emir. Are you okay with that, Aya? Huh? I think so. Lunar Cliffs. <laughs>